Ashes of Creation Apocalypse kicks off its early access, Heavy Metal Machines goes all medieval with a new season and skins to match, Terra has a hefty new update planned for October, and MTG Arena, Dauntless, and Estelia Online are all up and ready for launch. What's good everyone, James Blonde here with your weekly recap of gaming news and announcements of the week of September 27th, 2019. First up, Collegiate Star League is bringing Magic the Gathering to their list of college esports leagues. This league will feature a scholarship prize pool of $50,000 up for grabs, the largest in the CSL this year. This is free for all North American college students and teams who will form up in teams of three. They will bring their most powerful decks up to bear against other MTGA players across a 16-week season. The best players across all of these colleges will do battle at the CSL Grand Finals in April 2020, with the winners heading to ultimately do battle against the UK winners in the first-of-its-kind international exhibition battle. All of the action will be streamed on CSL's Twitch channel, and CSL will provide tons of content for Magic the Gathering Arena fans, so you're gonna want to stay tuned. But while you're at it, check out Jason's new launch event and deck discussion for the new Throne of Eldraine set over at MMOS.com. Plus, you might as well pick up the side quest in the form of the Closer's Seth bundle that we're giving away. So make sure you grab yours while you still can. The bundle includes the Gifted Cadet Costume Bundle, Midnight Phase Wings for 7 days, and 3-day Elite Status, Maid Service, and Gardening Vouchers. All the info for both of these can be found in the description below. Next up in the news, the fourth season of Armored Warfare went live this past week, entitled American Dream. This season introduces a new character, Douglas O'Reilly. He's an American Hellraiser turned resistance fighter, desperately fighting for what remains of his country. Douglas is seeking the truth behind the Enigma organization, no matter what it takes. American Dream features this new story arc, as well as new special ops missions, and so much more. Season 4 will also feature quality of life improvements to take advantage of. Consumable use, ramming damage mechanics, the power of thermobaric missiles, and HE shell explosions were adjusted. The changes were aimed at boosting player satisfaction as a whole. Players can add an explosive selection of new high-level vehicles to their hangar, from the M113 armed with its famous Hellfire missiles, to an M48 GAU-8 equipped with a rotating multi-barrel cannon that can deliver up to 4200 rounds per minute. The extra firepower should help the resistance forces stand a fighting chance against one of their deadliest and most nefarious opponents yet. In other news, Nuked Cockroach announced this past week that their debut title, Veterans Online, will hit Steam later this fall as a free-to-play, top-down PvP shooter. Veterans Online aims to blend arena brawling with a variety of PvP maps, modes, and missions. You'll earn coins in-game to buy weapons at the start of each round, which include light and heavy guns, as well as consumables like mines and traps, and then dive into heated 5v5 battles. The game will also feature character customization, although we don't know a whole lot about that just yet. The early access will feature two game modes, Territory Control and Capture the Flag. Additional game modes will come throughout the early access period, so keep an eye out at MMOS.com as more news for the game becomes available. On a seemingly similar note, Ashes of Creation Apocalypse is now live in early access. This is an entry point into the world of Ashes of Creation where players will fight for survival or die trying. This free-to-play experience will have a high fantasy setting where players do battle against magic and steel. They will duke it out across a variety of modes in a vast battle arena. The world known as Vera is on the brink of destruction and the only one who will be spared is the last player standing. Amongst the various game modes will, of course, be a Battle Royale-style mode, castle sieges, and battles against hordes of monsters. A wealth of weapons and combat options await players who can go alone or fight with their friends, leveling up and earning prestige on the battlefield. Any rewards earned in Apocalypse will also carry over to the main MMO. In more MMO news, Black Desert on PS4 released a huge update this past week with some serious new content to play through. The Awakening feature has arrived, which permanently boosts a character's combat power and unlocks new skills and weapons to use. All 10 classes have the ability to be awakened, allowing players to realize their true power alongside unique playstyles. In order to awaken, a player must hit level 56 and accept a quest provided by their Black Spirit. Once complete, they will receive a mythical weapon to wield. In addition, two fan-favorite classes come to the MMO, Lawn and Ninja. Each brings its own style of agile gameplay and precision combat to Black Desert and have their own skills and abilities to master. The Desert Kingdom of Valencia also comes in this update with sandstorms and new enemies to endure. A new world boss also comes in with this region, the Mighty Kutum. 
Absolute skills were also brought in for all classes to bring devastating powerful attacks. This update also adds new gameplay elements such as villain marks. Regardless of a player's karma, killing another player in this region grants a villain mark. They will be treated as hostile by other players and once killed they will be sent to Pillaku Prison to serve their time and gain debuffs. Next up, Season 6 has arrived in Heavy Metal Machines, and the new pass is called Knights, Dragons, and a Two-Headed Ogre. This new season of content is medieval-themed and takes us to Noble Rock-A-Lot. This parallel universe has noble and not-so-noble knights doing battle on the road. The new skins are gorgeous and have new effects for character skills. This is only the start of the surprises, though, with some mysterious events on the way at the end of October, said the developer-director at Hoplong. We are extremely proud of the artistic quality we have achieved in this sixth Heavy Metal Machine season. The medieval theme and the new skins influence the pilot's abilities and have a greater quality than any other skin available in the game. We are sure the community will like it. The pass and update is now live, so hop in and see if these new skins really do rock. During Inside Xbox, Grapeshot Games announced that Atlas will be headed to Xbox One's game preview service on October 8th. Atlas will also launch with crossplay support, so Steam players can work together with Xbox players to explore the same massive world. Xbox One players will also have keyboard and mouse support to ensure full game variety and an even playing field. Grapeshot Games has also announced optional new single player and private session modes for those who wish to go seafaring with just their friends. Back to some MMO news, Terra revealed a new update coming in October for PC for their North American audience. Aerial Island will mark the end of the Skywatch series of updates and will include the floating region of Exidor. There are four quest-filled zones in the area, and of course, new BAMs. There will also be new dungeons to tackle and more powerful gear to earn. To get ready for this, there are some events coming to the game to help players gear up for the challenges that lie ahead. First, there is a leveling event that will grant a host of beneficial rewards at certain level milestones to help players on their journey to level 68 where they can start tackling new content. Terra is also supercharging gear progression from October 1st through the 15th with improved enchanting and upgrade chances on high-end weapons and armor. During that same period, completing select high-level dungeons will yield improved drops. Finally, there's the Harvest Festival Hall event with fun spooks, thrills, and enough candy to give even the largest big-ass monsters a sugar rush. This event runs for the entirety of October, so when the time comes, head over to the Eldridge Academy, speak with Serena, and get to blasting enemies with candy cannons. Lots happening in Terra all of a sudden. Also this past week, Phoenix Labs has officially launched Dauntless with Ether Unbound, its 1.0 update. Ether Unbound includes the new Ether Strikers weapon, along with the new Dire Behemoth Tempest Stormclaw. A new bounty system has replaced the weekly quests and Hunt Pass part breaks. A new Hunt Pass, of course, is available. Dauntless is available now as a free download on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC on the Epic Game Store, and offers seamless cross-platform play that allows players to easily access their account on any platform. Not to mention, Dauntless will launch on Nintendo Switch sometime later this year. And finally, for the last bit of news, if you haven't noticed already, Astelia Online is also launching this weekend. You'll be able to download the game from the official website on September 28th, which is tomorrow, and dive into a game world looking to take the MMORPG genre back to its roots by combining traditional gameplay mechanics with modern visuals to create something brand new. Of course, keep an eye out at MMORPG.com for any special announcements, live streams, and more. But for now, that's about it for all the major news and announcements for this week. For more information on the news topics, check the links in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that little bell icon to get notifications, and of course, share this video. But until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.